I open the front door the hard way and then I'm not going in it. Hi. Hello, living man who's alive. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Hey, you get one Neuromod for helping him. Sweet, I need those so badly. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I also saved a person, that's fine. God, it's weird being able to jump that high. But awesome. Yeah, take that. <laughs> One's also open. Same catwalk. The officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. Oh. Morgan? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. <laughs> They weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Do they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? That caught me by surprise. You don't expect someone to chastise you for doing the thing you've been playing the entire game. How did this all happen? They definitely set that up on purpose, especially with the way that she's like hidden away around the corner where you're likely to see the table full of stuff before seeing her. Food and supplies. I got all the following supplies I could. Makes, uh, and it looks like we have enough food to hold out for several days as long as we are rationing. Here's an inventory. Three bananas, a bunch of other yeah, really unimpressive piles of crap. Uh, we all, and we have all the water we need as long as the foundation the fountain keeps working. I, whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway. That's a weird sound. Uh, whoopsie. And boom. There you guys go. Seven, 35 bananas. That'll fix your... I just multiplied your freaking backlog of food by adding exactly if one type of food. Could have put out the fire. Oh, it's banana. Contained, but I... Pioneers of Space Industry. Have you heard this one before? Working aboard a space station like the Talos is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they're in space. Yeah, I remember this one. That's, like one, of the, that's like one of the first ones. Accident report. To be completed within six hours of incident. Probably not. Uh, the accident occurred with uh, during fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and damage contained. But we lost some crew in there. People, ha uh, Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get it in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. And it, yeah, it has fallen apart at this point. Die, you tape dispenser. You're not the boss of me. Darpender cycle, they're everywhere. They're, they're so everywhere. They really want to make sure you find all those. Hazmat transfer today. From someone. From Gus Miguel to Enoch Coneva, Ash Lasser, Diane Washington, Eddie Voss. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo bay A. I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of their shift today, as you will be lucky the lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifluoride will do to you if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you all the I'll give you all the rest of the ship off. You're welcome. Gerald Wildman is the person responding. Enoch. Yeah. So Enoch was like, "Oh, frowny face about the thing it does to you." What happened to Enoch? 
On, I've never heard the word Enoch outside of it being the name of the protagonist of uh, El Shaddai. A very strange game most people have probably forgotten exist ever happened by now. Dr. Igwe, temporary assignment from Sylvain Bellamy to it's Gerald Wildman. Mr. Wildman, Dr. Deo Igwe is assign assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with cargo bay personnel. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. The work is confidential and he answers directly to me, so if you have any issues, please contact my office. Thank you, so Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Rani told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? Rani told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuro mod that could cure that. Oh, bye. Yeah, you almost died in a small, like, meter-ish... Well, more than, way more than a meter, meter. But like a couple meter... crate, floating in space, that you were going to suffocate to death with in while you fly out into... nothingness. You're having a bad time. Is that a door of some... Nope. It's just a panel that's been ripped off the wall. Hello? <laughs> What's that sound? That must just be a ventilation thing? Just hearing a background noise that sounds weird. Hey, can I reach anything if I go up? Nothing really... What was that? That's concerning. That's not coming for me, is it? I think there's somebody in the chamber above us. One of the spectral enemy things. Something. One of the whisperers. Huh. Keep an eye around that. Oh. Space. Alright, well that would answer some of that question. Ha 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 ha. I am the almighty. No real reason to do this though. Uh, let's do the front door. Hello. And jump scare, I'm behind you. Oh, I'm getting sick of waiting for them to come to us. Gonna have to keep a watch on Igwe. He stirred up some of the organisms getting here. Might do it again. We did a check of all Igwe's equipment. All genuine, no organic matter. He's clean. Well, if something goes wrong, I can always help out, because I am decent at that. Also, you got this little mech friend here. Here, let's, uh, let's help you guys out. This is, the, this is the place where the humans go to survive, so let's give you guys some help. I like that they thank you, that's really funny. We thank lost you for Tegan Remmer during Officer the first Shadrin. stages of the attack. She's... I'm glad you were able to she's save alright, isn't she? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't really concentrate because you guys were speaking at the same time, Dr. like... Dr. is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Well, the simultaneous greetings start to feel like, uh... I don't know... Creepy twins... Officer Chaudry, Dr. Creepy, creepy twins She's in a horror movie? She's told us of the... telepaths. Oh, well, you're not having a happy time in there, are you? Just mark you... Thanks for saving Rani. Her doctor Igwe was floating in a cargo crate outside the ship. We need to help as many ship. of them get to safety as if we can. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. Can you guys stop talking at the same time? You had so much time to not talk at the same time. A uh, lot of uh, enemies in there. I was going to try marking them, but they kind of wandered off. Darcy Maddox. No movement. Room secure. You mean this room or that room? Because that, that room's definitely not secure. The one you're looking into. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway, Chief Elisar's waiting on you. Dr. Yu, watching the main door. Chief Elisar will want to talk to you. Dr. Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Dr. Yu. That was out of line. Forgive me. Nicole... So she didn't make it. I... 
You didn't have to do this, but I... Thank you, ma'am. And Morgan? I owe you an apology. Once you vanished into the sim lab, Sarah asked me to try and learn what I could from the psychotronic staff discreetly. I took too long, but I learned you were in the lab without your consent. I didn't even consider that possibility. When we heard, Sarah was quick to begin action against your brother, but then, well, things fell apart. I should have worked harder, dug deeper, especially after all you've risked for us. I'm sorry. Captain Marks officiated our ceremony. You were there, but I don't think you remember. We never breathed fresh air together, or stood in the grass together. I don't know if I want to go back to Earth now. Let's do a freaky situation where I was one of the only people that seemed to know I was there without my consent, because everyone else was aware and actively... Some of them were actively trying to do something about it before everything went to shit. And man, have things gone to shit. In the meantime, it's really neat to see a place full of people, just because like you, you suddenly realize how long you've been playing this uh, explorative RPG, whatever you want to call this, without encountering human beings ever. I'd get like radio recordings and stuff like that, or, or there's audio logs and documents, but I've never been around the people I've been reading the diaries of, really. There was one inmate that I chose to leave locked up, one inmate that uh, is now attacking me, and then one person I actually saved and she went back to a specific location. Past that, even the people I've been saving have been people talking over audio logs and I've been like pressing a button and helping them from a distance and stuff like that. But here's just a room full of people, just being people. Gotta say, dude, generally, it might be a better idea to have this door just closed. They're not very good at going through doors, as far as I can tell. Do I have access to these side areas? Send someone to find a cutting torch. We need to get into these cargo cages, see what supplies are in there. So they're in, they're thinking the same thing. Interesting. So there's a button on the other side of this that if you pressed it, it would make it open, right? But the hard part is getting the right angle or anything. And figuring out whether or not it's even possible to get inside or not. I don't, I don't know what I could do about that necessarily. Ooh. There's one gun in there. There's a, there's a turret in there. Not much going on there. I believe the door on this side is right... He no? Here. The bu button's right there. I don't, I don't know how you'd get the right angle on that. I can almost see that maybe you'd be able to go shoot through the grate on this side. Just barely. Oh, weapon upgrade kit just to taunt me, huh? Is there a spot that the grating's not on? Like a single bar. Now it goes top to bottom. I can give it a quick shot to see if it will even go through. Ta da! I am a hero. There you go, everybody. Where'd, where'd my bolts go? Also, psych, I'm taking it. I can give you guys this, though. Ta da! Alright, there's one up here. There we go. Gonna upgrade the crap out of my stuff. Any secret doors? It'd be weird because this is like a storage location. This would be a weird place to have that kind of thing. Let's see, neuromods. Could go down psychotronics. Let's uh, if we could get, allow myself to do some upgrades to my security weapons, or did I buy that already? Did I buy that already? Non-standard. Yeah, I already did the lab tech upgrades. Whoops. Forgot. That's fine. I maxed out our neuromod psychotronic thing, so I can put two more things in this if I want to. There might be a couple things down here. Boost amount of damage done by a sub -ther super thermal. No. Decreases cooldown time of side powers. Might as well. Reduces time it takes to repair an object. Why not? Once I can find better. Shields the effects of the null wave transmitter. I don't use null wave, so it doesn't matter. Increases the range of type and can be scanned. Not super concerned about uh, that stuff. 
What's the deal with this? Reactivator X2T00. Reactivator X2T00. Are they the same thing? I can only, up I can only equip one of them. Huh. Yeah. That's weird. So I guess I have a dupe or something. Huh. Well, that doesn't really matter. I guess might as well make scans go faster just because I can at that point. Let's put some upgrades into the Q beam. I've been, I've been using that against the uh, nightmare lately. Might as well make it more effective because right now it's just like a, it's kind of annoyingly slow. Oops, not reload time. There we go. Longer, uh, faster damage output and, uh, fast, a uh, longer overall amount of firing per clip, I believe. So that'll last better. Get it here and double sort. There we go. Alright, can I get the same access to this room? Angle might make it harder. Something on top of here, yep. You're going to want to get out of my way. Ah, crap. I still have it? What was that? <laughs> Wait, what was that thing? Oh, crap. Well, that makes it pretty hard. Hey, you really can't see past those blocks on this side. Making it next to impossible to even see the button I'm trying to shoot at. I'd have to stack pretty high. Or try to shoot from upstairs. Now the catwalk kind of gets in the way. Hey, your uh, options are kind of limited. If there was a small enough gap, I could throw a recycler charge in there to get the boxes out of the way. Although there is a concern as to whether that would be destroying the items I'm trying to get in the first place. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. Officer Hayashi, Dr. Yu. Nothing will get past me. Okay, do you also have a missing wife you need me to get the ring for? Just checking. Um, oh. So these are just the grav lift. Yep. External door. Very external door. <laughs> Goes ex Whoa, what's the music freaking out about? Oh, hey. It's the danger room. Hi, danger room. How do you do? Oops. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, is there a... There's no opening on the ceiling anywhere. And there's a key card door, so I can't hack it, apparently. So I'm not reaching them. So maybe, maybe I'll get... Somebody asking me to clear them out when I go into here. How's weapons going? I, yeah, I'd expect it to be empty, considering how things are going. Oh, that might be exterior also. Oh, cargo bay A. I think I'm supposed to go up here. Hello? Oh, is that the Thanks doctor? Thanks for getting Chaudhry back to us. She's still rattled. Mika told me. Says the things were in her mind. Huh. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. Well, well, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now? I'm going to check the perimeter. Now we have some. Now we know what happened to Enoch. At least he was the body on the floor that just turned into one of these guys, apparently. I'm trying to scan all the ones I can. So we we were spending so much time not around people, and now it's definitely becoming clearer and clearer how that may have been a low priority, the the people part, because. Every time I walk into a room, everyone talks to me simultaneously, like like I'm playing uh, Fallout 4 or, done it. or Morrowind. You still doing all right? I am, Officer Rose. Thank you. It's Al. No burns? 
No, you pulled me out just in time, Al. Well, you live dangerously, playing with fire like that. I'll try and let you know before I do it again. Please do. It's only polite. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. It's like a mixed thing a little bit. On one hand, there's the issue, there's like the Bethesda problem of you walk in a room and everybody yells at you simultaneously and you can't understand any of them. And it's unfortunate that still happens this much in games, in what should be relatively tested areas, stuff like that. But it is nice that these little details where a character will talk to you about something and then they'll actually progress to a different location and talk to somebody else. And like uh, that, that, that detail where they're not static characters is actually God, kind of a neat detail. Move. It makes me sick. There's so many of them in there. And I can blow them up so hard, probably. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. Heard you found the body <laughs> of a smuggler. Don't tell her I said that. Quentin Purvis? Mika filled me in. I knew him. I didn't know he was involved in the smuggling ring on the station. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't looking closely enough. Even if we're dead, it won't be over. We'll still be at their mercy, like Enoch. Like the others. I can't even respect our dead. Goddamn waiting is driving me crazy. We're better than being dead. That thing. It was like it was sewing Enoch into one of their silhouettes. Some of the officers reported seeing glowing structures, called it coral. The creatures are making it. But why? I think I can clear that room I out. I don't understand. But it's just a saying. It, it means, uh, are you doing okay? Oh, I am, Officer Rose. Al, thank you. Good to hear it. They have multiple conversations where he checks in on her. Huh. Rani told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Now, I wish we were. What do you suppose- Captain Elazar was worried about Mika. Thanks for setting her mind at ease. I've been watching them for hours, and I still don't know how many of them are out there. They could be anything. Anyone. Eh, nice bit of detail. Th thought I'd exhaust the trees for a little bit. Alright, so I just saved. I want to call attention to something, because some people, for some reason, don't believe me when I mention that you... Like, I, uh, when I was in the room with Illusion before, I was like, you could just shoot her, and you could just shoot, like, December, or, or, I mean, or January, I mean. Like, you could just shoot these people, and there's nothing stopping you, and the story will just have to adapt to that. So just in case you were, didn't believe me about that... He's dead. I'm gonna take a look over here. That's it. He's dead now. I don't see anything. Here. I don't know if he's And he's dead. And now she's dead. Pleasure to use this trend star cat gun on you. Now they're dead. Die already. Yep. They're all dead. Take a look over here. Ah, the game didn't even crash. Look at all this stuff everywhere. There's so much stuff. There goes the Igwe. So yes, in case you were not clear about the level of freedom that this kind of game and this genre gives you, yes, you can literally just kill people. And you can deal with the morality of this however you feel like. And the game will have to adapt. And I didn't even fail the story, I believe. Yep, no longer fighting Chief Elazar. Now I'm supposed to listen to, listen to the transcribe on her body. And get... That's still an option too, but we know what happens. Oh, no, that's the armor key. Never mind. So yeah, I... The body... The thing adapts because I needed information from her. And if I kill her, I can just take the information off of her body instead. This is obviously not canon. In case we were unclear about that. So let's go back to my quick save. So that's that's part of the glory of the immersive sim or the 0451 game or all these games that take after games like stuff like Deus Ex or Thief or whatever and stuff like that. These exploration games, this the general subgenre that Bioshock exists in is that stuff within this genre generally lets you do whatever the hell you want. 
leading to wildly different playthroughs if you're willing to take, to take different approaches. Not just from a perspective of like how your game character can run or how how you want to get, kill everything or go all stealth or not get caught ever or never ever neuromod yourself or or let's say decide to do a human purist run where you don't ever gain alien powers in that particular playthrough or shoot everybody because January said no one can get off the station so you're just going to murder every human you find even the one that may or may not be have been uh, someone you were in a couple in a relationship with uh, before things went down if you if you're ever in the same room with your brother you can probably kill him too which probably show explains why uh, this character that is important to the story, Alex Yu, is uh, never really in the room with you. You're, you're going into his documents or his logs and he's contacting you on the phone is because if he's ever in the room with you, the game would have to let you kill him as an option. Uh, and the game may not be planning on that particular fork happening. But yes, that I'd demonstrate that for people that aren't entirely clear on what's interesting about this particular subgenre. And, and how it's just kind of cool that you can do shit like that. It's just some very interesting playthroughs. Also, it was very satisfying to throw recyclers around the room and wipe out... Just spam recyclers in every direction, wiping out literally all character models and items all at once. There was so much loot on the floor, did you see that? Damn. I wonder if sufficiently neuromodded characters spit out a more exotic material if you kill them with a recycler. So you came all this way? Only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The- Wait. You have the Fabrication Plan already. My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you. Doctor, let's get the EATs built, deployed, and then, then we'll see how fast those bastards can shapeshift into corpses. Boom, preemptively completing objectives before I even know they exist, because I just like Why to explore. With you? Are you trying to get her to the lobby? Or your office? We're not going anywhere, but that doesn't mean we don't have places to be. We need those turrets. No turrets, no code. It's for our safety, and yours. Psionics. It's all true, isn't it? What these aliens can do, what we can do. If you to find think it was considered chicanery, with you. flim flam, be of some pseudoscience, elsewhere. made me quite the target for mockery. But your brother, your brother, he believed, way in here, and so did you. The fight to them. At least, you did before your self-experiment in the sim lab. How wrong they were, the skeptics. How wrong we all were. But I knew. I had a premonition, if you will, that I was on to something. It's all rather Clarkian, they said. Fiction of the most vapid sort. It's not childhood's end, Igwe. It's career's end for you. Remember, it's the Eradicator Fabrication Plan we want, not the Reployer Plan. Whatever the hell a Reployer is. We got a Reployer joke. We Hanging did it. With the lifts. Oh dear lord. Once it, every time they started talking over each other like that, I was like, row, row, row your boat. That's what was coming to mind. Ooh, neuro, four Neuromods just sitting here. Oh, that's probably why there was so much exotic material on the floor. The neuromods probably got sucked up with all that. Hey, are you there? Chief? D yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's any cigarettes luck waiting. With those turrets? You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Well, that's nice of her. They're all, they're like he's good, they're gonna reprimand me, but like they're specifically being nice and and uh, acknowledging that they contributed. Positive de de uh, departmental review. Please relay the following of the security crew. 
or relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors member. Talos cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. The who am I following right now? Trevor Young in the lobby. So I was looking for someone else though. Place turrets in the loading zone of cargo bay B. Huh. Rance Lockwood was who I was looking for. Which was an actual so I so I guess I reactivated their thing, but I'm not actually following them right now. Now we get to play the fun game where I look for a character. Oh wow. That was fast. <laughs> that was weirdly fast. Like the first place I looked. Makes sense, it's right, because right at the top of the screen probably defaults to being the current location. So it would be related to this location that, yeah. Take me up there. Oh. I want to see if something's accessible from up here. Oh, usual practice. Slightly suspicious vent, but I can't get up there either. I think that's going to be that. Okay. They could hack it open, but I'll probably get in trouble. So they said to place turrets there? Let's see. They're pinned down. If I, if I set them up turrets in the loading zone next to Cargo Bay B door, she'll open it for me, trusting the turrets to keep them safe. There's a fabrication plan for turrets nearby and a fabricator here that needs power stored. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing, though. What? Oh. There's something out there. Why don't you use this door? Do you not have the code for this door? Oh. 6120. Could that be a code? <laughs> I'm just worried that they're all gonna die. If I wanted to help them not die, I'd want to open that door instead, because it's in a different room. Whereas here, they're gonna be in some trouble, probably. Anyway, I brought these turrets in. Get it away from the, uh... Get you in here now. Figured I'd put it not in the oil slick. That's probably going to get it destroyed very abruptly. Are you gonna back away from the door, perhaps? Because right now you're, like, standing where you're just gonna get hit immediately, and that's not great news either. Where's the fabricator you said there was? Oh, over there. Right. That's the one from earlier. Right, I fixed you up earlier. Do I have a turret one, apparently, do I? I don't... Growth formula? Portable turret. How much do you cost to make? Not terrible. It's only a few magazines worth of ammo, basically. Of resources, I mean. Well, I don't want them to die. Hehehehehe. <laughs> 